Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's get to the nitty gritty. How are you guys doing? I know, I know, it's been crazy the past couple of months. Nonetheless, um, the last couple of weeks have been heavy as energy. We know, we know. I hope you guys are buckled up because there is a lot of changes coming through. All right, Pisces, you have the moon card. This is your energy. Feelings are ridiculous right now. For some of you guys getting overly emotional, uh, probably having some arguments with partner, uh, not really being able to express your feelings. I feel you guys wanting to suppress and what Spirit is telling you here with the Sagittarius card, you need to let it out, my Pisces. What is going on? Why are you holding back? Are you scared that they are going to react a certain way? Are you scared that they're going to walk away? You need to put yourself first, Pisces. You have the North Node. This is talking about destiny. This is talking about learning. This is fulfillment, experience, fruition. This is the North Star. So what they're telling you is, follow your intuition, look at the signs that Spirit is giving to you, to get you to the point of believing more in yourself or being more confident in yourself enough to express how you're really feeling with the third house. The third house is all to do with perception, but this is all to do with communication. This is speech, this is thoughts, this is social media, this is uh, excursions, this is, uh, you know, dating on everyday basis. Uh, this is to do with finding some shape, way, or form to communicate and get the message across. So if you're being suppressed or if you feel like you can't express your true feelings. Now, we're talking about destiny here. So for some of you guys... You may be in a relationship where you don't want to be there no more. For others of you, you may be in a relationship where you feel like they're not fulfilling what you're expecting or what you're wanting, yet you're going with the flow. You're suppressing your communication. And what they're telling you is that there's a need for balance. Now, you Pisces are very intuitive, but you often doubt yourself. And if something feels off or if something has been feeling like you're usually the one to be putting the effort in the relationship, it's time for you to wake up, my dear Pisces, especially with these heavy ass energies that are happening right now. You're going to become overly emotional. And this is including over emotional in regards to having the most minute argument the most simplistic petty argument and your partner decides to make it a big thing and then you get so emotional that you can communicate or express yourself because you've been suppressing it for so long that you get on this they just tick you off that one day and you flip the hell out and it's because you've been suppressing this for a very long time opposition balance so what they're telling you here is you need to be more confident in what you're wanting. Don't be scared to be freaking vocal to your partner. If they're doing something and they're doing it wrong, tell them. If they're not giving you the attention you want, tell them. If they're not giving you enough fire, energy, desire, lust, sex, speak up. Don't go with the flow because what you're doing is you're not being true or authentic to yourself. You're suppressing your emotions and then you're sitting there wondering why are you not finding the balance in your life? And it's because you're walking away from your destiny. You're walking away from the signs that spirit is giving to you. Now, if you're single, we go back to the same message. Stop suppressing what you feel or how you feel be more vocal if you're going to some type of anxiety some type of depression be vocal about it if you feel shy 
or you have a tendency of not really knowing how to deal with the tension, then hey, post it on social media. Get it out there. Why? Because there's, I'm sure there's other people that are going perhaps not through the same situation, but are going through similar situations where you may empower them. Or you may find people that are going through the same issues that you're going through that you may find empowerment from that. But what they're telling you here is that in order for you to flow to your destiny or to flow towards the person that is right for you or to flow towards your future and what you're wanting, you have to believe in yourself. You have to surrender. And that's going to bring you balance, Pisces. I see you guys taking major, major chances from now all the way to October. And what they're saying here is that if you're imbalanced, if you're in a relationship and you're unhappy, and you found someone that has ignited the passion or the desire within you, if you follow your heart, you're going to end up getting or ending up in a situation where you feel like what your perception of what this love was going to be completely changed. Because it was imbalanced. There is a need to get your shit straight. Whether it's if you're, if you're single and you're trying to attract a partner into your life, pour all that love, all that love that you have to give to someone else, pour it on yourself. Find your truth or your passion. Find what motivates you and do much of it. This is going to help you grow. This is going to help you believe in yourself, be more confident, being able to communicate with assertiveness. And then there's no resistance. Energy is going to flow organically till you find the balance or till you find a person that can mirror and give back what you're willing to put in a relationship. Now let's see what your energies are currently influencing. You see, this is exactly what we were just saying. You have faith. Faith is a representation of a belief. You have to believe in yourself, Pisces. You have manifestation, manifest. You're able to manifest and bring to you that which you desire, the partner you want, the type of love you want, the type of partnership that you deserve. But you have to be fearless in it. And by being fearless, it means not taking not taking or making stupid, irrational decisions. It's be fearless about what you want. Be clear and concise about what you're wanting to attract, whether it be a partner, whether it be marriage, whether it be a committed relationship, whatever it may mean to you. But you, be, you have to be fearless in that approach. And the only way to be fearless is to be completely, utterly in love with yourself till you get to the point of knowing your worth, of knowing that you deserve a partner that's going to give you what you deserve. A partner that's going to love you, that is going to give you that emotional support. But fearless can also represent making decisions out of the whim because you feel that way. Be careful with that, Pisces. Because if you make irrational decisions... You're going to continue being imbalanced. And you're making mistakes that could be prevented. You guys enjoyed this reading.
and we'll see each other soon. Bye.